What's up, Psychedelic Investors? My name's James, and you're watching The Psychedelic Investor, your number one news source for psychedelic stocks and everything MindMed. In today's episode, we'll be covering some big MindMed news that broke on January 14th. And just quickly, MindMed stock ticker is MMED on the Canadian NEO market and MMEDF on the American OTC market. In a press release entitled, MindMed adds Chief Development Officer with FDA Phase II Psilocybin Clinical Trial Experience, MindMed reveals that they have added a scientist named Robert Barrow as their Chief Development Officer. And I know what you're saying right now. Oh, I've never heard of this Barrow figure before. I was promised by the title a big MindMed update. Screw it. I'm clicking on another video. To which I would say, not so fast. Tucked away in this news release about a hiring decision is a quote which points to a future MindMed project. And that project will be researching the effects of psilocybin. So up until now, MindMed has focused all of their Phase 2 trials on LSD and 18MC, which is a derivative of ibogaine, while leaving treating maladies with psilocybin to other companies like Compass Pathways. That, however, may be about to change. In this video, we're going to do several things. First, we'll read the press release and pause throughout to discuss. Next. We will enter the speculation zone, where we will consider the potential implications of this addition to the MindMed team. And finally, we will touch on MindMed's potential competitive advantage over other companies due to their ever-expanding clinical trial pipeline. But first, if you enjoy this video, invest in the channel with your like and subscribe. Over time, you'll see your investment grow as we continue to bring you information that you need to know before investing in the psychedelic medicines field. And if you're feeling extra generous, leave us a comment telling us what you would like to see covered next. Not only will it help us match content to what you want to see, but it will also feed the almighty YouTube algorithm. Enjoy the video. So, jumping right into the press release. Psychedelic pharmaceutical scientist and clinical pharmacologist Robert Barrow appointed as Chief Development Officer. New York, January 14th, 2021. MindMed, a leading psychedelic medicine biotech company, today announced the addition of Robert Barrow, an accomplished pharmaceutical executive as chief development officer. Mr. Barrow has over a decade of experience in leading drug development programs aimed at identifying and testing novel treatments in a wide range of disease conditions under FDA and EMA. In his most recent position, Mr. Barrow served as Director of Drug Development and Discovery at the USONA Institute, where he oversaw preclinical, clinical, and regulatory development efforts for all of USONA's development programs in psychedelics. At USONA, Mr. Barrow was responsible for launching the Phase II clinical program for psilocybin in the treatment of major depressive disorder and for obtaining breakthrough therapy designation for the program at FDA. So here we are going to pause to discuss a few things. First, Barrow is coming from the USONA Institute, which is a non-profit medical research organization dedicated to supporting and conducting preclinical and clinical research to further the understanding of the therapeutic effects of psilocybin and other consciousness-expanding medicines. Specifically, their focus is on alleviating depression in people for whom current medical treatments fall short. And USONA is super legit. They work with John Hopkins, the leading psychedelic research institute, and other prestigious universities like Yale and the New York University School of Medicine. As it says, Barrow's largest contribution was launching USONA's Phase II clinical trial researching psilocybin as a treatment for major depressive disorder. This trial, launched in 2019, used a randomized double-blind placebo-controlled design to evaluate the potential antidepressant effects of a single dose of psilocybin in 80 patients with MDD. And the trial is still underway, so I was not able to find any data on it. So, Barrow is bringing with him to MindMed intimate knowledge about the efficacy of psilocybin in treating MDD, as well as dosing data and regime setup. Basically, there are few people on this planet who would be better suited to work on MindMed's psilocybin projects. But wait, I hear you collectively yelling at your screens. MindMed doesn't have any trials studying psilocybin as a treatment to a specific disease. Yes, they have a phase one trial looking at the safety of psilocybin in conjunction with the Liechi lab at the University Hospital Basel. And yes, they are comparing psilocybin to LSD in a phase one trial. And yes, they have a license to test psilocybin. But they have yet to start a trial specifically looking at psilocybin as a medicine. Now, let's get back to the article, shall we? MindMed's co-CEO, J.R. Ron, said, Rob has been an integral advisor to MindMed on Project Lucy and in preparing meetings with the FDA, and we are honored he is now joining us on the senior leadership team. We are excited to attract such top-tier talent from the psychedelic drug development community. 
So, it is important to note here that Barrow isn't completely new to MindMed. He was an advisor on Project Lucy, which is MindMed's program to treat anxiety with LSD, and he also helped with the FDA approval for clinical trials. So even before his hire as Chief Development Officer, Barrow has been important to MindMed. And here is where the article gets really juicy, continuing with JR's quote. The entire MindMed team is looking forward to exploring potential additional programs evaluating psilocybin and other psychedelics backed by Rob's recent experience and expertise gaining a breakthrough therapy designation at FDA for a psychedelic-assisted therapy. So here, J.R. Ron just comes out and says it, though it is couched in the word potential. And this is the most important sentence in the article, so I'm going to read it again. The entire MindMed team is looking forward to exploring potential additional programs evaluating psilocybin and other psychedelics backed by Rob's recent experience and expertise gaining a breakthrough therapy designation at FDA for a psychedelic-assisted therapy. MindMed, with Barrow, are planning on expanding their clinical trial pipeline to include a psilocybin treatment sometime in the future. And this is really big news. Currently, the only phase two trials MindMed has are 18MC to treat addiction and LSD to treat anxiety, ADHD, and suicide headaches. If the goal of hiring Barrow is indeed to start studying psilocybin treatments, as JR all but states, then this will continue to expand MindMed's clinical trial pipeline, already by far the largest. Finishing the article. MindMed's Chief Development Officer, Rob Barrow, said psychedelic therapies offer a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to revolutionize the delivery of mental health care. In joining MindMed, I look forward to delivering on this potential and working to further build and progress MindMed's pipeline of clinical development programs, offering hope to millions of people suffering from addiction and mental health disorders. And now looking at Robert Barrow's bio, Mr. Barrow is an accomplished pharmaceutical executive and clinical pharmacologist with over a decade of experience leading drug development programs in a variety of disease areas. Mr. Barrow previously served as Director of Drug Development and Discovery at USONA Institute, where he oversaw preclinical, clinical, and regulatory development efforts for all of USONA's development programs. Prior to joining USONA, Mr. Barrow served as Chief Operating Officer of Olatech Therapeutics, where he oversaw the execution of numerous early and late stage clinical trials in the field of analgesics, rheumatology, immunology, and cardiovascular disease. In addition, he has been responsible for the design and execution of preclinical research programs for new molecular entity drugs in CNS conditions such as multiple sclerosis, Alzheimer's disease, and Parkinson's disease. Mr. Barrow holds a master's degree in pharmacology from The Ohio State University and a bachelor's of science degree from Wake Forest University, where he graduated summa cum laude. So, to discuss what this might mean, it is time to enter the speculation zone. Reminder that what is said in the speculation zone is just that, speculation. It is my opinion based on the information that I have provided you. If you believe something I say is incorrect, let me know why in the comments. If you more than disagree and you feel you have evidence to the contrary, please comment a link. If you are correct, the whole community will owe you a thanks. Okay, so the first thing I want to speculate on is when and what the potential psilocybin clinical trial will be. And just as a side note for this segment, I am assuming such a trial will take place. JR did say in his statement that it was only a potential trial, and he also mentioned the possibility for Barrow to work on other substances as well. But reading in between the lines, though this is of course just speculation, I do view this hire as more or less confirmation that MindMed will move into a clinical trial testing the efficacy of psilocybin in treating a mental disorder relatively soon. So, when will this trial start? Well, hopping back into the investor's deck, we can see that MindMed's phase one trial comparing LSD and psilocybin is set to end in Q3 of this year. 2021. So to me it would make sense that MindMed would use the time until the end of that trial to lay the groundwork for a new clinical trial and then launch it once all the data from the current trial is analyzed. I can't see it being announced sooner than that because lots of work will have to go into building the trial before it is announced. But it could be later. I hope this trial, whatever it is, will be announced in 2021, but realistically there is a good chance that it may take longer to set up and we won't hear about it until 2022. And as for what this trial will be, well, this is going out completely on a limb, but I would have to guess that it would be a trial looking at the efficacy of psilocybin on treating depression. This is, after all, the main thing Barrow was working on before coming to MindMed. And I want to stress that this might not be the case, this is just a guess on my part, but it would make sense. And if this is the case, it would put them in direct competition with Compass Pathways. 
Compass is currently running a phase 2b trial studying the efficacy of psilocybin in treating treatment-resistant depression. This means that they are the furthest progressed in the clinical trial process of any psychedelic medicines company, whether they are using psilocybin or another compound like LSD, though this is their only trial. So, if MindMed does launch a similar trial, they will be behind Compass Pathways, who will likely reach a market first and get a first mover's advantage. Now, this isn't necessarily the end of the world. The market for depression is by far large enough for multiple players, especially if psilocybin is more effective than current treatments, which are SSRIs and SNRIs. And if you want to learn more about Compass Pathways specifically, or the ability of psilocybin to treat depression in general, click on the card above. It is a long video, but it explains how depression is currently treated and why it is not very successful. It then goes into the various studies on how psilocybin works to treat depression and how effective it is. And full disclosure, as well as being a shareholder in MindMed, I also own shares in Compass and I believe in the company. So, taking a step back from all of this, if MindMed is soon to add a clinical trial studying the effects of psilocybin on a malady, how will their clinical trial pipeline compare to the other companies in this space? Okay, so most of you probably already know this, but even before this potential trial takes off, MindMed has by far the most expansive trial pipeline. Compass is the most advanced company in any one clinical trial, which is again a phase 2b trial looking at the effectiveness of psilocybin to treat depression, but they only have the one. Other companies are also starting to get into the clinical trial game. An example, which I'll do a video on soon, is Midison. Ticker symbol MYCO on the Canadian NEO market and MYCOF on the American OTC market. They are currently starting a phase 2a trial testing the effectiveness of psilocybin to treat PTSD in veterans. On top of this, they are studying microdosing and plan to start an addiction study. This is an exciting company, to be sure, but again, MindMed leaves them in the dust. With a phase 2 study on psilocybin, MindMed would have five phase 2 studies. LSD to treat anxiety, suicide headaches, and ADHD, the last one in a microdosing format, 18MC to treat addiction, and whatever psilocybin trial they end up settling on. This would be on top of their 13 completed and 5 ongoing phase 1 trials, plus their LSD neutralizer, which is an extremely exciting piece of tech that will enable LSD therapy as a concept. I'll put a card to the video we did on MindMed's LSD neutralizer above. Definitely worth the watch. Basically, what I'm trying to say is MindMed's clinical trial pipeline, especially if they add a phase 2 psilocybin trial into the mix, is head and shoulders above the rest. At least, for now. This is a quick moving field and if you blink, you'll miss some updates. Which is why, if you haven't already, you should subscribe to this channel and hit that notifications bell so you never miss an update. And if you haven't already, smash that like button. Come on. You made it this far, it's free, and it will help ensure that this channel continues to exist and bring you this content. And if you want to learn more, check out one of these amazing videos on MindMed. This is James from The Psychedelic Investor, signing out. I'll see you next time.